All right, my friends, we're back. Thank you for standing by. Sorry about the long wait. Well, uh, we'll try this a bit longer. And just see if there's, see if there's any hope of redemption. <laughs> successes with the other games is uh, fading fast. <laughs> Wait, Finragon. Great to see you. <clears throat> Great to see you. Sorry, I lost my... I'm getting choked up. Can't believe you're still streaming, Frowny. I vaguely remember Nato rating you yesterday night. I know, I know, I never streamed for this long. We're, uh, we're going really late because I'm just... <laughs> I'm desperate to not be stuck here. <laughs> I'm desperate to not be stuck here in this game. I'm so sleepy I had trouble staying awake. Everyone, uh, you mean in Nato stream or, uh, or our stream? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very much used to being, uh, background noise as people drift off to sleep. both I was uh, I was taking a nap I was taking a nap at the start of Nato's stream last night or what is actually yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening my time I try to be awake for people's streams. It didn't just happen. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't usually, I don't usually tune into a stream with the express goal of sleeping, but, well, sometimes I do. It's uh it's almost 6:30 a.m. for me. So like normally I would have wrapped up about 2 hours ago, but I really like Jump King was starting to go well and then it started going real bad. So now I don't want to give up and I'm at I'm at the point where like I've I've gone I've gone for so long that it's like, well, I might as well just stay up and start tomorrow. <laughs> Jelly was talking about getting up early and maybe uh, maybe driving around to check out some yard sales in our area. So maybe I'll just stream until she's ready to get up and then I'll go with her. <laughs> Is what I'm thinking. She 
surely she'll be with it. Surely she'll be ready to get up in, a, in about an hour or so. I hope I'm not sabotaging tomorrow night's stream, though. <laughs> There's a chance I'm going to end up canceling our Friday night stream. <laughs> uh, I'll, need, uh, I'll need all day tomorrow to recover if I'm unlucky. Yard sales. I want to get out and find some. But I'm not a morning person. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm not either. Naturally, <laughs> I'm very. I'm very much a, a late at night kind of person. I like to sleep through the morning as much as I can. But uh, if I haven't fallen, if I haven't been to sleep yet, it's not really the morning, right? It's just a. Uh, it's just an exceptionally bright night. <laughs> so brutal <sighs> it it hurts to have your hopes so high and to have them destroyed so viciously This game is physical agony. I don't think that's a good thing to say right now if you're a Nintendo fan. This game is physical agony. Uh. I'm curious as to why. Hero was thinking you'd do better at the tricky edge job with your experiences of the tower. Unfortunately, although it's basically the same jump, for some reason the skills are not transferable. Especially of how long the wait for the Switch 2's been since the beginning of this year. So I'm the uh I'm the oddball. The thing is, I'm happy to just keep running the Switch for the next ten years. I know there's some people out there looking for the Switch too, and I, I look, I'm a Nintendo fan, and I'm excited for new Nintendo games. But the Switch 2, all that is, is a massive is a massive hit to my bank account. 
I'm a I'm a retro guy. I could care less for new hardware. <laughs> I uh All I'm going to all I'm going to do is lose a bunch of money when the Switch 2 comes out. <laughs> Oh, I know. I I know they I know they can't coast on the Switch forever, but I wish they could. As long as they want to, as long as they want to to as long as they want to stretch the Switch's lifespan out, I am uh, I am perfectly happy. Or if they want to keep, if they want to keep releasing unnecessary like pseudo upgrades, like the OLED screen or whatever, go for it, Nintendo. <laughs> they can release all the hardware they want that uh, that uh, just runs the same games and doesn't force an upgrade on me. I'm not saying any of this is realistic. I'm saying... I'm saying I don't want to have to open my wallet until the absolute last moment. Because whenever a new piece of hardware comes out, I'm going to have to pick it up. So as long as we, could, as long as we can, can delay that, the happier my wallet is. The one exception, the one exception, if Nintendo went with my idea and followed the Switch up with a dedicated, with a dedicated VR console, and they made the bold move to call it the Virtual Boy 2. <laughs> Alright, I'd be excited to spend the money on that. <laughs> Because there's all the there was a lot there was tons of speculation that Nintendo like people thought Nintendo was gonna release a a, a separate like peripheral attachment to the Switch that was a VR headset for a long time, and like they people thought Nintendo was gonna get interested in VR. So if if all of that if all of that that long ago speculation finally paid off. With Nintendo releasing a dedicated VR console that was the Virtual Boy 2, I could not be happier. And I don't even... And I don't even want to play VR games. I just love I just love the idea of them leaning into and reviving such a colossal failure <laughs> and redeeming it at such a late date. I feel like the new piece of hardware needs to be a significant enough upgrade slash change. Not seeing how they'll manage that with the Switch. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what Nintendo's gonna do next. The thing is, Nintendo always does such weird things. It's really, it's really tough to predict what they're going to do. <laughs> it's really tough to predict what Nintendo is going to do next at any given moment. The NVIDIA Giga Leak gives us a good picture. I haven't uh, haven't heard of this. 
I don't, uh, I don't really follow gaming news. I'm, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a bubble. Me too, Fanny Finn says. Not to not to sound terribly uninterested, but like the thing that you that you said there, like T two thirty nine, aka Drake. Nintendo's the next Nintendo consoles SOC. Like I don't know what I don't know what these terms mean. I haven't heard of the Drake, and I don't know what SOC stands for. System on a chip. Well, I guess if I, in terms that I might understand, can you, can you give like a relative term? Like, uh, is that twice as powerful as the switch? Is it, 50% more powerful than the Switch? Is it not a significant upgrade at all? Or, like, like what would you say? Like, if the... Twice to four times more powerful? Okay, that, well, that's, that's a significant upgrade. Do you think it's going to be a Switch... Do you think it's going to be a Switch 2, where it's basically the same idea? Or do you think it's going to be a dedicated con like do you think it's going to be a box that plugs into the tv or is it going to be a handheld a handheld that plugs into the tv again it's definitely going to be a hybrid again okay oh i have the snake ring on yeah you gotta You gotta, you gotta explain tech stuff to me, like, you gotta explain tech stuff to me like I'm Captain America who's just been thawed from the ice. <laughs> because I basically am. Uh, yeah, you gotta explain it to me like I'm five, because a, a lot of it will go over my head. Because I, I, I don't have a great baseline knowledge to begin with, and then I'm so... I don't follow gaming news, so I fall I, I fall behind real quick. Why wouldn't they do it again? The switch was a hit. I mean that's true, but I mean I'm The, the 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 Wii was a hit and then they tried to and then the, the Wii U was bizarre <laughs> I think the Wii U could have been a hit to convince people they're going to need to upgrade. Yeah, I mean, but to be fair with to be fair with that, like phone phone manufacturers have been convincing people to 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 buy a brand new phone like every 2 months. That's basically the exact same thing again and again and again. <laughs> The Wii U is ridiculously underrated, but it's considered a 
fall forward for the fact that it inspired a lot of what they ended up doing with the Switch. They consolidated their home console and handheld console teams into one, so I can't see them going back on that. So basically, so basically the way that, uh, so basically the way that Nintendo is going to mess it up is that they're going to end up calling it something like the new Nintendo Switch Deluxe and everyone's going to think it's not much of an upgrade and not necessary and no one's going to buy it. <laughs> I should really go to bed, Zergling says, yet. Uh, apologies. <laughs> apologies if I'm uh, if I'm distracting you from your much needed sleep, Zergling. I just don't wanna I just don't wanna come back to this game and be down here. Uh it's going to be so hard to turn this game back on if I know I'm down here. <laughs> We're probably only going to go for about 20 more minutes, though. I think I'm going to end at the top of the next hour, even if it is even if it is in sadness and shame at the bottom of the bog. The plan, hopefully I won't have to cancel tomorrow night's stream. The plan, if that stream happens, is to play... Jet Force Gemini tomorrow night, and then next week we'll play Jump King, Jet Force Gemini, and Battle Toads at the very least. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna de rust on Battle Toads NES, and then just start just start playing everything else I can with Battle Toads in the title. I think we'll start with the Genesis game since it's supposed to be pretty much the same thing just kind of different and then we'll look at the Game Boy games the SNES game the Double Dragon crossovers and we'll just do lots of Battletoads I think little by slowly um I think that's a good project. I think we'll do those on Tuesdays. I think we'll have a one week, one day of the week that's just Battle Toads every Tuesday. T 
T for Tuesday, T for Toads. Battletoads, Jump King, you like torturing yourself, huh, Brownie? I mean, that's that's what it's all about. I love, uh, I love, I love tough games. I like, uh, I like tough games. I'm, I'm wanting to dig into Battletoads, so the thing about the Battletoads is, I'm thinking if we do a Battletoads game every Tuesday, the plan is, because I can, well, after I de-rust, I can... I should be able to beat Battletoads in about an hour um, per run. So I'm thinking if I dedicate Tuesday nights to a new Battletoads game every week, I can start every Tuesday night with the original, with the Battletoads on NES. And if I keep doing enough runs through that one, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll become good enough to convince myself to grind for Deathless Battletoads. <laughs> That's that's what the secret objective is, is to convince myself that I can learn to do Battletoads Deathless with enough tries. <laughs> and this is kind of my way of, like, not fully committing to it. <laughs> but... But convincing myself to do so. <laughs> Jump King makes me wonder. I wonder if that <laughs> means you like torching yourself through getting over it. So I've never played that game. Um, I've never played getting over it, but I think I will. I think I will. I've said that I've said that my plan, after I finish Jump King, my plan is to reward myself with a playthrough of Shovel Knight, because I've, I've never done a playthrough of that game, and I think I'll really like it. Maybe after I do Shovel Knight, I'll do Getting Over It. Like, maybe that'll be enough time to recover from Jump King. But I think I, think I have to play Getting Over It, because people bring it up when I play this all the time. I've like I've had it mentioned to me so much. I don't I don't think it's escapable. <laughs> but it has to be here's the thing. I don't I haven't looked to see if getting over it is on the Switch. Because it, I have to be able to play it on the Switch to be able to play it. I don't do uh I don't do PC games. So if it's only available if it's not available on the Switch, I won't be able to play it for a long time. I don't have any of the other consoles. That's why that's why I only mention Switch or PC. Cuz I don't I don't really plan to buy a, a Xbox or a PlayStation. I know it's easy enough to check to see if it's been released on it, but I never think to do it at a convenient time. <laughs> it only comes up during the stream and I'm I'm not like I. I don't want to usually stop what I'm doing to look. It's not on the Switch. All right. Well, then I'm not going to play it for a long time. Thank you for looking, though. So we'll have to wait on that one. I will play it someday. Uh, I don't have a PC capable of playing games for the stream. I stream off a 10-year-old laptop. I'm not a... It's my only computer. I'm not going to try and run a game and the stream on the on the laptop at the same time. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I 
even if I even if I was confident I could run both programs, I still wouldn't because I don't want to I don't want to tab back and forth between the game and the chat and all that nonsense. I've got to I've got to have my game on a separate TV from the from the stream. So uh, someday, someday if I get a better PC or a second laptop, then we'll uh, we'll see. Because if I got a second laptop, I could run the game on it, and I could do like the the HDMI out into a splitter between my TV and my capture card, and it'd be kind of like having another console. There's a lot of these, there's a lot of these, like, vertical torture games, right? There's Getting Over It is probably the most famous. There's a game about climbing I've heard of. Um, I think Only Up is another one of these kind of games. But it seems, it seems that there's quite a lot to the vertical torture genre. <laughs> So I'm I've got a lot of nightmares in my future if I if I make it through Jump King. <laughs> There's actually a really janky looking climbing game on the Wii that I want to try and play as well. I think it's called Rock and Roll Climber. It's a WiiWare game. To be honest, it sounds like a game-loving psychologist's dream, doing a deep dive into the whys surrounding the popularity of the difficult climbing game genre. I'm a uh, Jump King has won me over. I'm a uh, I'm becoming more and more a fan of like I'm realizing and I'm, I'm realizing a bit that I I'm really I I really like verticality in games. There's a uh, there's something about there's something about climbing in games in general that cuz I always I always think of like I I always summarize the games that I like as being games where you walk to the right. And that's not untrue, but I I do like a mix of uh, I do like a mix of verticality in there as well. <laughs>
You know, one thing, one thing that's unfortunate is I, uh, I said that when Nintendo releases the Switch 2, I'm not looking forward to it because all it means is a big expense for me. But realistically, when Nintendo, when the Switch 2 comes out, it'll probably be like two or three years before I'm able to actually buy one. Because I'm sure whenever, whenever it's released, it's going to be released in extremely small stock that's going to be bought up and scalped all over the world. This is going to be one of those things where no one's able to get their hands on it for, uh, until no one cares about it anymore. That seems to be, that seems to be the way consoles all work nowadays. <laughs> Wait for the non-scalper prices gives you time to save up. This is true. The pain.
It's a rough life, my friends. It's a rough life. All right. I think we're just going to leave Jump King down here. I'm going to leave him down here to hang out with this guy. And we'll wrap the stream up. <laughs> what a night. What a night. We went from such soaring heights to such devastating lows. I saw the highest part of the map I had ever reached and now I'm back down at bedrock <laughs> Jump King is a uh... Jump King is the worst thing to ever happen to me All that, uh, all that pushing, hope against hope. Hey, Chompy, welcome in. Late night stream. Yeah, I stayed up way, stayed up way too late. We're actually, we're actually wrapping up here, though. I'm, I'm sorry to do that to you, if you're just joining us. I hate to, uh, I hate to have to tell someone we're, we're, we're quitting right as they come in, but, uh, yeah, we're at the end of the night. I didn't want to. I didn't want to end back down here. I wanted to push and get our progress back, but it's not going to happen. No worries. Thank you for uh, thank you for understanding. So we'll raid out. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna send this over to to Mister Suffer. He's still going. Hopefully for a while yet. He's playing some sort of card game at the moment. I don't know what it's all about, so we'll just have to see. He's got a very fun stream if you somehow are not yet familiar. Um, does lots of retro stuff. He's been working, I think he's working his way through all the NES titles. Um, currently, uh, not a family friendly stream. There's adult language and conversation topics in this direction. Mild heads up about that in case it's a deal breaker for you. You have been warned. I 
I've been very lucky to have your company tonight, my friends. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for being with me. <laughs> we had some good times. We had some rough times. It's been a night. I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> I suppose we'll play Jump King again. Somehow I'll try and find the strength to play this game again next week. <laughs> I plan to be back Friday night, tomorrow night, later today, uh, around 11 p.m. to play Jet Force Gemini. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord, though, because depending on how my day goes now, I may end up having to cancel um, if I'm not able to get the right amount of sleep. <laughs> if I'm not able to get the right amount of sleep during the day, I may have to cancel tomorrow night's stream. I hope not, but I'll, I'll let you know on the Discord. Um, but that, that's going to be it, my friends. Be well until I get to see you again. Hopefully we'll be able to share each other's company again real soon. But uh, after long last, it's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>